Hey guys, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and thank you for coming to my channel. I want to talk about two different ways that you can build an email list. And throughout this, this video, I want to show, tell you the importance of having an email list. I know that you've probably heard people talk about it, but you might not really be quite sure what it is and how to get one and why you need one. So we're going to talk about all of that in the video today. Before we dig in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I can help you build your business, mainly by building your YouTube channel and then everything that comes with it from there. It's my, my belief that it all starts with YouTube. It's the easiest way to get started and then everything else can be built from there. And this is one of the pillars that you wanna start building if you've already got your channel is that email list. And again, I'll let you know why um, when you're watching the video. Now the first way and the most common way to build your email list is to offer something to your audience. Now you might say, I'm brand new, I don't even know where to offer anything. First of all, what I want you to think about is what could you give your audience for free that they would in turn give you their email list. Now you've seen them yourself. You've gone into your emails, maybe you've gone shopping at the store and they'll say, give, give me your email list, and your email, and you do, and then all of a sudden you're inbox is full of um, coupons and things like that. I'm going to use Kohl's as an example. I think that was the first time I ever realized what an email list was. I went shopping. I'm like, oh, I'm giving them my email. This is years ago. And all of a sudden I have all these coupons and all these offers. And I'm like, wow, this is cool. Now, eventually, if you keep giving that email out, you're going to get lots of offers, right? So people catch on pretty quick. So you'd really need to have something that they want. What is it that you have to offer them that they're willing to give you that email list? Because this is something everybody does and it fills up our inbox and a lot of people don't like that. So you've really got to have something enticing. I'm going to give you some ideas here and I, and I say have a captivating lead magnet. We call that a lead magnet, a free offer, um, an opt-in. All those terms work hand in hand. And here are some, here's how it works in a nutshell. Let me just, here's a little diagram that I've created to, to help you understand. These little arrows are all of your customers coming in from different traffic sources. So let's say the only traffic source you have at this point is YouTube. I talk a lot about YouTube. YouTube is a good traffic source. So during your YouTube video, you might talk about an offer and you might say, click the link below and I'll give you a free ebook with my favorite five recipes that help me lose weight. If you follow these recipes, you might lose 10 pounds within a month, whatever it, the offer is. Make sure it's legit, of course. Well, if you have a health and fitness channel, you're talking about being healthy, losing weight, anybody following you that wants to lose those 10 pounds is going to click. And you've just offered it on your YouTube video. And here it is. They're going to click, but oh, wait a minute. It doesn't automatically give them the recipe book. You're not going to have a link that goes directly to the recipe book because you just lost an opportunity to get their email address. Remember, we're trying to collect the email address. So they go to what we call a landing page. Landing pages are built in things like ClickFunnels. I have a link below. It has a trial period and it's got some um, instruction on how to use it, but that's where it has to go to some kind of a platform that has a landing page. After they click, the landing page and say, yes, I want that book. Another page is going to pop up and say, fill out your email address and give me your name. And they go, okay, put it in. And then they click. And then one of two things is going to happen here. One, you're going to automatically send them an email that has the link to that free book that you just offered, or automatically the book just goes to them in an email. So it's that simple. Now, why are we doing that? Later, you have the email list and you can start writing emails to your audience, to the people that are interested in what you have to offer. You've got a list now that will build over time that anytime you might have other offers or if you want to share a new secret or a new tip, you're giving them information and that's your list there. Now, real quick, why? Why do we even want to do this? Because any platform like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you don't own that space. You are being allowed to use that space for free from all those people that own it. They can kick you off at any time that they want. They can shut you down and then you have nothing. So what you're doing as you're, as you're putting out your content and, and catering to your audience and giving them what they want, they keep coming to you. They're flocking to you. Your Facebook group's getting bigger. Your subscribers are getting bigger on your channel. If 
something happens and you get shut down you have your email list and you can still communicate with your audience so even if you're not really sure what that audience um what to do with that audience i i was reading in a group one time somebody said i have six thousand people on my email list and i don't know what to do with them and everyone's like oh my gosh you're so lucky but they were collecting them but they weren't writing to them and that's fine if you don't know what to do yet but what i'm trying to emphasize to you here is you need to collect emails okay now here are some other ideas i know i use the idea of a recipe book but you could do thing other ebooks this one says um seo 101 um learn the basics of search engine optimization a lot of people want to learn that wow okay i'm going to click it here's another one productive meetings um if you are trying to coach have people come in uh, maybe you can show how to have productive meetings when you have an audience maybe in zoom or something like that keep it on track and things like that you can have coupons you can maybe you have a course that you're selling and you want to give them a coupon or maybe you have a shopify store and then down here four simple simple steps to hack your habits so how to have habits that are productive you can think outside the box there's lots of things that are relevant to your business and free things that you can offer and you will find i've got several different offers i have a checklist that i give i have an ebook that i give people are enticed by different things in my click funnels account with the landing page i'm actually going to make an, a video next week so seven days from today um if you're just watching when this comes out that's my next video once it's active i will put the link below so if you are watching after those seven days then go down below and you'll see the link on what is a landing page and how to make one so that you'll get that more information there didn't want to put it in here because that's not what we're talking about today now what is my second way on how to make uh, create an email list? the second way that you can create your email list is to buy solo ads and it's not really an ad that you're buying you're actually hiring somebody to put your information on their email list and then they'll get people to click coming to you so what you're buying is some clicks from somebody that has a huge email list and you're like whoa what does that mean um i didn't understand this at first but to be honest i looked into it a little bit and i'm going to explain it a little bit to you today how that works but i bought my first 2000 emails um, by using solo ads now i didn't just go in and say hey let me buy 2000 they actually get information from you and people will actually click they'll have an opportunity to put your information in front of their list and then you're buying clicks so for example it, and, and again i'm going to go to the place where you do this but let's say i have 300,000 emails on my list and you come to me and say i have this little ad i want to offer to my audience to get them to click for this recipe book on my list um, you're coming to me you'll find out how but maybe i have a list of people that are interested in health and fitness so 100,000 people health and fitness i take your ad i put it out to them and if when you get your first 100 clicks I stop the ad and that's what you're paying for and it usually runs roughly 40 cents per click and you might say well you know that's that's about 40 dollars which isn't bad but every time these people click and they go in and they sign up for your thing you've got those emails of people who are interested in what you have it goes a little bit faster i did it i don't do it anymore because i'm getting them from other sources but in the beginning i felt like when i was writing to people and giving them more information there was nobody out there like if you only have 10 people you're like you know why am i doing this but if you've got 2000 then you feel like at least you're um opening uh, your your you're giving your information to a bigger interested audience but like i said i wouldn't do it all the time after that then i would just start it let it happen naturally let me um show you where you would go to get these this, when you hit the link below it's going to take you to a site like this and you want to go to solo deals because that's what you're looking for and each of these people are selling allowing you to put an ad on their email list and again you want to open each one up some of them will say i specialize in marketing um, i specialize in health and fitness i might specialize in business they're going to have all kinds of different things in there so you want to find somebody that 
connects with you most of them like i said if you pay roughly 40 cents that's the average now if you go down here you're going to see this person she's charging 48 cents but she's already had 2,000 orders if she's been around long enough to have 2,000 orders then she must be pretty good this guy is 3,000 orders but their prices are still good there was a guy i went down here a little bit further and he had 500 orders here but notice everybody's like 40 45 cents somewhere in there um, I'm going to go to this one here. They've had 1,300 orders. They said they're outperforming everybody else. They're going to give you information about themselves. You're going to contact them and you're going to let them know, you know what, I want to buy 1,000 clicks and it's going to tell you how much that costs. Or you might say, I just want to buy 100 for now. I, I want to see if this works. So just slide this over and you'll see the price goes down. And I would start out with 100 or 200 just to, to begin with, because um, you're going to be leery at first. I was, I was like, what am I doing here? And I, again, was very pleased. You're going to pay with a credit card or with PayPal and then read all this information um, in here. He's been doing this for six years. So he's a lot of experience, which is good. He's got testimonies down at the bottom and he's going to tell you exactly what to do. Most of his traffic comes from the United States and Canada, and they call that tier one, Australia, pretty much your westernized um, countries that people have a lot of money and they like to spend it. That's who you want to reach out to. Um, sometimes the lower the price, if you tell them, hey, I want to reach other countries, which there's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes the lower their price a little bit. So that's it in a nutshell, what to do. You've got to contact the person, they'll walk you through it and tell you what to do. You have to have something ready to give though to the people when they click. And typically you might have them click into your landing page where you have the offer. And again, watch my video next week and I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page where to go to do that so right now if you've never done any of this and you have no idea what you're doing don't do anything yet start thinking about what is that offer that i can give and start googling what are some other things that people are providing what does maybe you have a youtube channel and you already know people keep asking the same questions over and over maybe you can make a list of um, frequently asked questions and offer that to them um, make it something enticing though that people are really going to want to click that's all i have today i hope this gives you an idea of what the email list is what kind of offers that you can give and how to collect them that's what we're answering today watch my video next week and i am going to show you how to make that landing page and be able to give your offer to your audience